Greetings, the world of the internet. I am the great Matthew Squeak, and welcome to Squeal Talk at the Movies. Did anybody really think that Trolls was going to make a movie? Nobody thought Barbie could make a movie, and certainly nobody thought Legos could make a movie. Yet, here we are watching a movie about tiny dolls with hair longer than their bodies. This is Trolls, the characters. We have Poppy, the bright and colorful, full of flowers and rainbows, teaming up with Branch. Pretty much the exact opposite. If Grumpy was a troll, he would be Branch. They're delightful, they're funny, and interesting. Poppy isn't exactly as full of rainbows as she appears, as she tends to have a delightfully evil side, which makes her even more enjoyable. Branch is a stick in the mud in a movie full of way too much walking on sunshine. It's like he feels our pain for being stuck in an overly cheeseball movie. They mix well, they clash well, a great combination of characters. The Plot Trolls are obsessed with hugs, music, and dancing, and all that other cheeseball stuff. The problem with them wanting to live the way they want is trolls are pretty much the bottom of the food chain. Eaten by all. So yes, the movie actually starts rather bleak with them fleeing for their lives. This movie is not as full of rainbows and sunshine as the trailers may make it look. There are times where being eaten is a very real and pressing danger. But that's not to say that this movie does have a lot of cheeseballness in it. But what keeps it from being an eye roll is that the movie kind of makes fun of itself. Much like the Lego movie does. It knew the story was cheeseballs, but instead of trying to stay in the world of cheese, it lets the audience in on the joke. Universe. Blah, proper name, place name, backstory stuff. So now we and the movie are sharing a laugh. Design. The troll world feels like a scrapbook world, very much like something you would see in Poppy's Book of Scrap. It's bright, colorful, and very eye-pleasing. Even the monsters don't look nearly as scary as they could be when they look like they were created from pieces of fabric. Then we have the Bergenstown. You want the clashing? This is clashing, but done well. The Bergens are pretty much the exact opposite of the trolls, being glum and depressed all the time. Gone is the bright and colorful scrapbook feel. Instead, the world feels bleak and as depressed as the Bergens are. It really feels and matches what is going on. Oh, and the songs. They're amazing, catchy, get stuck in your head, and encourage you to dance. Overall, Trolls is an incredibly surprise of just how delightful it was. It was funny, interesting, colorful, and just plain a lot of fun. I had a hunch that it wasn't going to be terrible, maybe a man due to extreme cheese, but thanks to it letting us in on the joke, the movie is much better than I thought. In fact, I am going to say, definitely go check this one out. And now, a moment with previews. Oh no, not another one, not another one of these stupid movies. Well, they didn't heed my advice. We've been shown yet another story arc from another character, I don't think there's any left now, and we have seen the finale. Elephant Girl overcomes her stage fright and brings down the house. Is there anything left to go see? What the heck is this? And boy, do these characters look creepy. I am the great Matthew Squeak, and this is Square Talk at the Movies. I thank my loyal subjects for watching. Please like and subscribe to me. You may also donate anything you wish to on Patreon here.